Hello, yeah, hello guys, good afternoon. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, we, it, it, she, it, she basically had a big fall from grace and you, we know that she's in jail. But I want to show you guys the, the life that she was to live. Like it's quite uh, quite shocking when you look at the mansion, the island they used to go to, how Jeffrey Epstein was living in that life. And now uh, she's getting checked every 15 minutes in the jail cell. So she doesn't get to sleep. There's somebody putting a light on her every 15 minutes. Can you imagine how annoying can that be? But you know, the lady deserved it. I mean, she, she, she pushed it and then she got what she deserved. Okay, let's look at it. From the air, opulence is on display. Two pools, perfectly manicured beaches lined with palm trees, surrounded by turquoise waters. Tourists snorkel here daily to check out the turtles near the now infamous island. Epstein used to fly out here, we're told, on his private chopper after flying into St. Thomas on his private jet. Doing well, how are I'm you? I'm Stephanie Goss with NBC. Nice it's not easy to get to. We had to hire a boat captain. And when you move here to St. Thomas four years ago, how long did it take before people started talking about Jeffrey Epstein? Um, it was immediate. That was the, the first day I ever took this boat out. We had a, I had a training captain that I went out with, and that was just part of the tour. Boats can float right up to the edge of the island estate. Can I just talk to you for a second? Epstein's grounds workers are still on the job. Do you have a second to talk? But the ones we approached were not willing to talk. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you can see the property, right? It's like it's 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 very opulent. It's uh, it's super luxurious. Uh, everything is well manicured, uh, and. Uh, you and Gillian Maxwell always was in that island, always hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein, bringing them young women. Now she's in stuck in a jail cell, the size of a freaking closet, and people are bugging her and putting the light on on a flashlight on her to wake her up. You know what I think? I think a lot of people don't think they're ever gonna get caught. I think that's what's going on because if you're smart, you're gonna say, you know what? I'm not gonna give up my life because of giving you women i'm just gonna you know stay rich and not do that because like those people are the, i mean i'm not a rich guy and i'm like you, they, they have like this crazy addiction and this vice and the the vice was so powerful inside of them that they they took a risk I think they knew that they were taking a risk. I don't know if they know. That's strange. But right now, you look at her, right? Look at what she's going through. Like, and she she's deserved it because she pushed the level too much. You know what I'm saying? She really pushed it. She went after young children. Like I'm saying to myself, what if you okay, Gillian Maxwell was was a freak and she wants to be a freak? Let's, let's say she was uh, recruiting prostitution, prostitute like adult, 20 year old. I want to have sex with Jeffrey. I think, uh, you know, nobody would go crazy about that. Not that much. It still would have been crazy, but not as bad as what we have now. That now is, is pedophilia. Yeah? It's child, child pedophilia. And that's like, that's extremely dangerous right here. Very dangerous. And those guys, they threw away their, money, their, their life and everything. Me, I'm like, I'm not a rich guy. I'm like, man, that kind of life, forget about, uh, you know, like, I mean, it's crazy. I, I don't know how to explain this, but... Some people told me that. They told me that rich people do not understand how lucky they are. I think there's a truth to that. Because if you know that you, you're rich and you're lucky, and you got all these blessings, I think you're going to be like, you know what? Let me not go, uh, let, me not, let, let me not rip any children. I don't need to. I have money. Let me make the money make me happy. I don't need something extra. It seems like a lot of rich people, what they do is like, they want more. They want more experience, more experience, and then the experience sometimes go into the illegal experience, and and they go crazy, and that's why they end up doing cocaine, drugs. The rich, uh, some people say money doesn't buy you happiness. I think there's a truth to that, but I think it's not gonna be me. I think if I had money, I would be so happy. I don't need crazy things that are illegal. I mean, uh, to satisfy me, you know. But uh, it, 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 but that's what happened. With people like him um so this is where we are guys i just wanted to do this video please subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys think thank you